Welcome to TransySports.com as we prepare for a big season on the horizon for the Transylvania men's soccer team. Joining me today in his fourth year as head coach of the Transylvania men's soccer team is the head coach, Matt Vogel, also a Transylvania alumni. Coach, thanks for your time. Your team is coming off of a stellar 2016 season in which the Pioneers went 12-3-3, finished second near the top of the HCAC standings after a 7-1-1 season, as well as another appearance in the ACHC tournament. A good year, but now you're looking for more. Yeah, um, you know, we have a lot of guys coming back, and um, we have a good core of experienced players. Um, we had a talented freshman group last year that contributed quite a bit to our success um, and then we have another good influx of, of guys coming in as well so um, we have guys that can push each other we're really competitive and uh, training sessions are fun training sessions are, are hard work and we're getting better and we're excited to see what happens what's the energy level been like so far you're now on I guess your your fourth or fifth day of training up to this point what's the energy on the pitch seemed like so far to you very high. Uh, the guys have brought it. Um, for the first time since I've been here, um, everybody's passed a fitness test. The whole team came in fit. Um, the, the training sessions are extremely competitive. They're pushing each other, uh, which is good because it raises the level of everybody on the team. So uh, atmosphere is great. The energy is good. It's very competitive. And, and we, we've even seen in just the few training sessions that we've had that guys are getting better every single time. So it's, it's what we want. It was a very interesting narrative for this team in 2016. There was so much hope, instantaneous growth along the way, and all of a sudden it ended suddenly a bitter end. I don't know if they put that memory behind them or not, or it could be even serving as a driving force, but what's your message been to the team so far in the early days of this season, and what do you think that message will be trending for? Well, our, our core values and is basically tested character, and, and it's something that's unique to our team. Um, one of those things in that is toughness and um, you know that a game is a, is a whole 90 minute game and you know and then when you play your overtimes even more than that um, you know we were four minutes away of winning a game and we ended up losing 2-1 in double overtime so you know having the toughness to see everything through uh, being willing to, to put in the extra work for your teammates on the field and and seeing things out um, you know it was a, it's a heartbreaking moment for us as a team but uh, it's something that you definitely learn from. And when we have a lot of guys that are coming back, um, that's something that they certainly remember. It's a feeling that they don't want to have again. And so, uh, you know, we've just been talking about that aspect and amongst other things that we're working with our team right now. As you gaze upon this very loaded roster, um, you brought in a huge freshman class in 2016. We saw 10 players amongst the roster receive all HCAC postseason acclaim. And then you followed that up with bringing in another class of 12 freshmen this year in 2017. It seems to be talent from top to bottom in that class of recruits. How do you now channel all that collective individual talent into a, a, a group of team success, if you will? Well, one thing that we've been talking as well, uh, individuals don't do well unless the team does well. So the most important thing for us is that the team is playing and performing at the highest level. Uh, and when that happens, then everybody benefits. And so even if there are guys, I mean, we have 28, 29 guys that are solid, solid players. And so even if a guy is not in an early rotation right now or whatever, they're not, number one, they're not far off, and two, uh, they have the obligation and drive to push themselves uh, further, which makes their teammates better, because these are also going to be guys in the years to come that are going to create a legacy by the time they leave. And so this is a great time for growth for them, and they have uh, experienced guys as well that can help uh, lead them and show them different things that have been effective. And so, um, but we understand that this is, this is a team, I mean, Team first is one of our core values. So the team comes first, and when that happens, then things start to take off. Moving forward to looking at your schedule now, again, this is a tough schedule between who you gather together for non-conference play and then moving into the HEAC, which we always know is going to be a big bear to take on that collection of opposition. Uh, as we lead off into the start of the season, we have the annual Transy Soccer Showcase, and that's going to offer your team a good look at some top-level talent as well. Yeah, I mean, the most important thing for us is that we're competing and that we're playing as hard as we can. Um, 
regardless of what the results are or regardless of what exactly is happening on the field, we want to compete and we want to push each other to play at the highest level that we can. Um, you know, there'll, there'll be two early good tests for us, back-to-back -back games that will kind of test our endurance a little bit. Um, and will set us, you know, set us up well for the next weekend as well because we have another doubleheader the next weekend also. And then, uh, of course, then we go in, we also play Center and, and uh, Thomas Moore, and those are two quality programs right here in Kentucky as well. So um, the non-conference is really going to test our guys. It's going to be a variety of different styles of play and um, different surfaces. Uh, you know, we'll be playing on grass and on Bermuda grass and all kinds of stuff. So it's going to test our guys, but the main thing is that we compete, we push hard, uh, we're supportive of each other, and again, we have the team first mentality going into that. What do you hope your style and maybe this team's mindset and run of form is going to be as you approach ACAC conference play towards the start of October? Just to be the best that we are at that, uh, at that particular time. I mean, we all, you know, uh, stress individually as players to the, be the best version that you can be. Um, people have different innate talents or some guys are taller, some guys are shorter, some guys are naturally faster, some guys, they all have different traits and abilities. Continue to push yourself to be the best that you can be. And then by doing that, it's the same thing as a team. So hopefully, uh, wherever we're at as a team at that point, we're, we're playing at our highest level and, and we put ourselves in a position to try to accomplish some of the goals that, we wanna, that we've set out uh, for this season. Well, Coach Vogel, the season is quickly approaching. Just about one weekend from now, Transylvania opens up things on Labor Day weekend. This coming Saturday with the Transy Soccer Showcase, you can look up that game, live stats, live streaming video, all those links provided at our official athletics website. That being transysports.com. You can read up on everything that's happening around this Transylvania men's soccer team as they get through the first weekend and look for a great season beyond Coach Vogel. Thanks so much for your time today and good luck to you and your pioneers. Thanks, Chris.